David loses this, I get to go 0 5 versus David. If right. Solex loses this, it's the first time we ever play, but I suck versus PT. Um, Pokemon trainer. Oh, this is actually. I don't know. This is giving uh, me some uh, real uh, nostalgic uh, vibes uh, because oh, this yeah. is like a folk it's classic. A, yeah, it's like a, it's <laughs> a big yeah, it's a, it's a This classic. is a contender's classic. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I miss her. We all do so much. <laughs> I don't know who her we is. <laughs> we all miss her. I'll remember. Clip from the PR video with this tag. Please. You're so right. <laughs> You're so fucking right. <laughs> oh my god, the fucking damage coming out from me. Actually, I have no idea how this is plays out. I'm assuming as you switch, like, Pokemon, it gets better. Um, Dude, that's so awesome. The thing about Zard is that, like, do have those, like, Firms get easier on him. Yeah. But. Part of the show right here. Yeah. <laughs> Featuring Ivysaur. <laughs> Welcome to Games Ahoy. Featuring oh. Ivysaur. But at the same time, we just we, we love Nair. I love Nair. Not a single hair in sight after that fucking. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that. Oh my god. <laughs> Stay alive for the second one. Does she still have that set up? There's no way. Oh, no, there's no way. Don't listen to this guy. Right now. <laughs> yeah, they're just coming at you, man. They're just... Me after three fucking beers. <laughs> Yo. No, that man's actually fucking pushing buttons at you. <laughs> Yeah. Damn. Oh, the other day, this is just like I'm moving to like the side of the edge for Roy. And like David's just so good at racking up his fucking percent. Like, Roy is this a weird freak situation. Nah, I'm to kill. I should on Squirtle too. Squirtle's light, so like, dude, like right here. I think he, I think he would die to his side right here. So cool. So like, we'll definitely switch though. Yeah, I'm expecting a switch. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm expecting a switch like right there. Too much range. Ooh, I'm gonna die so early. The burns are crazy. Damn. The um the tether cancel downer to cover the fucking the uh, rising uppy. That was actually that was real fucking good. Banger of a fucking game. <laughs> Get hop on comms with these cute boys. Get on comms. 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 Spread them. I'm like barely, I'm like half calming, half just like, uh, like analyzing. I thought this was <laughs> So, uh, okay. Gotta, uh, Hot set. I'm guessing Solox has been only going uh, PT so far. Yeah, I've only seen him go PT. Okay. It's in the PT fucking Roy matchup. Downer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, that's, that's how the matchup goes. But it's Roy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> No, I find in the Mytho matchup, it's a very game of, I do well on stage, but there's a chance I die 50 every single stock from Squirtle combo and die. Exactly, yeah. So That's what Solex really kind of like. These rushdown scenarios with the Squirtle. Or mm -hmm. games really good And into this, like, solid way to, like, he's keeping his advantage state so clear right now. That's good. That's the biggest thing. Because, like, that la like, that last game, he didn't get, like, David Bailey. Oh, okay. But this game's looking a little bit more favorite. Oh, I, I would have done the same thing, David. <laughs> that was a really good guess, but an even better fucking dodge. And Solax, Dave was beautiful. 
Oh, like he had at that time. Patience. But... So I'm missing a butt. Give him something on Crystal. Good old Jared. Good old Jared. Really good off charge or against the score. No confident in the score of Jody. I guess we're also just immediately going yeah. back to Ivy. Yep, he wanted he didn't want he wanted an he wanted Squirtle in case he was back on stage. Once he got him off, it was just Ivy all day. That was such a good confirm. Oh my god. 59 already. Squirtle yeah. just the master of just like, yeah, you had you had 50. Oh, you had 60. Oh, oh zero to 90? Yeah. Okay. Okay. My <laughs> Yeah, little too. scary. The confirms are real fun. Mm -hmm. They're also real fun to you. Twiddle's a fun game. Yeah, screw it. Plus, it's like build. It's build a bear combo. Yeah, it's like tiny <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Except he actually does damage in his combo. <laughs> True. True. I mean, she does too. It just takes her like a decade to do said damage. Switch into the ivy right now. Should I get oh, something going on? Oh, that is sure. Yeah, no, 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 David, I'm getting killed, but the parry's up. The parry up. He, he is not. Zolak's just. This Zolak's is con he's He's confident. Yeah, he's and confident. it's showing. Yeah. He, he's like, this is my fucking day, and he's gonna work with it. But. Regardless, we all get Jared. We all get Jared. Charizard is really I not expect to have a around the shield, so. Oh, absolutely. And you have to. Frame 6 up smash, frame 9 up the, I believe. Like. Those are two scary ass options. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. They both yeah. killed really early. And so nice. Evening last off right now, still even, but that's oh, that was a good fucking read. read. Oh, David, but he didn't die. He didn't die. It's so an Ivy Sword. It's Ivy Sword. Dude. Must have died. Well, maybe it was yeah. middle spot, not strong spot. It, it was also like it was really early. It was mm -hmm. real early. Oh yeah. Like okay. that was gonna be like that. Like the least it could kill. That was like forty yeah. two, I think, after hit. Uh, before hit. But David's like really trying to go for this tech chase. But still, but yeah, still. Good read on David's. I mean, oh no, it didn't kill. He's not gonna. Yeah. Yeah. You have a fifty percent lead yeah, on that. Yeah, the state hasn't changed. Yeah. So. And That's this could be it, but David's slightly missing the combo, but it's not over yet. He hasn't taken damage, he's fine. Like, looking for that up smash and the Charizard's out, but really scary, boy, at all. But Charizard 132 is let's kill for a second. But boy, oh, yeah, yeah, take second. Here. I thought I thought that I thought that wasn't gonna kill for a second. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, but good job on David's part. Yeah. Not an option. No, so keeping missing, keeping cool, keeping yeah. calm. Like missing the kill confirm, but just deep breath, finish yeah, it up, and then just play the game. The you advantage can, state doesn't stop. Yeah, it doesn't stop. You miss the combo, it doesn't fucking matter. He's still off stage. Yeah, he's still off stage. We're still winning this. <laughs> and now, very, very good. We're, yeah. We're looking at this. It's 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Yeah. David Solax and both these players, they've known each other for so long. Yeah. They've played so many this is times. A classic. But I actually think this is one of the first times in a while that Solax, as an adult, has a job. Yeah. They always play a ton of Smash, but this week he's fine. He said that this week yeah. he's going to be... We don't have we don't see any, no Yoshi's, no yep. timeouts. Full yet. force. <laughs> Solax. Yeah. Solax at his prime because Tempest Temple's coming up. Go to it. Go to it. Um, but starting off, game three. This is important because it looks like the switching up stages, meaning whoever wins this game gets stage counter pick for the rest of the set, yeah. no matter what. And it seems kind of trivial, but game three is can be as important. Yeah. As is one of the most important games in the set. It definitely defines the it defines the, um, the momentum. As yes. Because well. even the like even if you did get game one, if you were going if you're two one from a game three perspective and a best of five you it's have a so lot to, you have a lot to catch up yeah. it's a whole that's a whole like there's a whole 2-0 you have to get it's like you lost your mistake if that makes sense dude i i saw that i saw him hit one of those with his robocop earlier he is really clean with those fucking squirtle and shab combos look at this advantage thing yep that was a stop missing a little missing the combo there obviously on a little bit david knowing it but i mean getting the squirtle off of charizard i don't know we're taking about like 13 off or 10 off that that is so good. David calling the lead. Expecting the squirrel to have a larger role than he does, but 
you can kind of see there David realizing it. Like, okay, let me correct. Let me change how I'm spacing this. Oh my goodness, but yeah, okay, just how tiny Squirtle is too. Good switch coming from Solar. Like, getting the into the, the little little iframes in between each switch. Yeah. Fantastic option. Frame one out. Frame one, if you do not know, frame one invincible. <laughs> and only 34 total frames. Did you know? <laughs> Ivy, their switch has the same total frames as Mythra's switch. Jesus. The difference is, is mine's slower, and I believe invincibility lasts later in the move for that. And I'm gonna take it. And I can move a nine, he can. But honestly, a really good spot. So that's even if David can get the stock off this, like, disadvantage. But. A really unfortunate fast fall. David knowing what he wanted to do, but it happens. You make these mistakes, and he's a mountain to climb right now. And each time he gets hit, that's just an extra percent, extra little bit that he has to make. It's Roy. Roy. We saw Roy can pick socks at 40, and if David can get the stock without taking much more extra credit, this game is still in his hands. Can still do it, but Solax just not dying. He's like, yeah. I know I can play around this character. This character's scared. He can kill early, but he can also kill really late. So I know that. Even not getting the kill because Charizard's one heavy, and that's not really a kill throw. But getting his kill confirmed. Look at sure 180, but <laughs> 180 only 60 percent. He's down yeah. a lot actually. Like not gonna lie, but. Sometimes speed can't come. Yeah. And sometimes if you want to get the kill, you have to play Charizard and Roy eats that character for breakfast. Yeah. He can deal get so much damage, so much advantage, shape, but still getting it. Looking like probably a miss input on David's part. That's but just the hardest read of all time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> David takes it. I mean like it's another chance Ooh, in good, this game. Good but, adjustments David's doing this to the Squirtle, but now that Ivy's out, you get an edge guard situation. Trying to go high just to avoid the two frame. Uh, but catches yes. the uh, up B with a forward uh, smash. Yep. David's so scared of that guy. It's such a scary move. It's yeah. fast. It's massive. Fine, massive. And, and it's scary. With For voice, Roy, you just yeah. stop. It's yeah. if you don't if you're above 40 and you don't if you're above 40 if you don't have your jump you're dead if you're yeah. above 40 and you don't have and do have your jump you're still dead <laughs> you can live at a low percent if you save your jump but that's so scary because why are you gonna be a low percent Squirtle exists Squirtle will just combo you there so this matchup is so scary volatile and Roy kills you at 40 I think could kill you at 40. Roy. Charizard can kill you at 40. <laughs> Charizard also can. We've oh, seen, especially Solak, like, we've seen Solak's like, Charizard and how, like, how, how explosive oh, yeah. his combos can get with Charizard. Okay. But, game three scenario? The blows have a good time, but <laughs> game four scenario. Oh, game four. <laughs> David, getting his stage back again. Good for him, but talked about that. He lost the stage, sta the game three. Yeah. Town of Piccolo stages, meaning like, this set will end on Solaxis to stage choice no matter what. Or could end. Mm -hmm. If it goes to five, Solax will get to that advantage of, hey, I'm gonna choose a stage for me. Good advantage, Shake. Really covering all options. Mm -hmm. Squirrel eyes with that sword, but unfortunately, Solax is gonna be switching the momentum right here. Mm -hmm. David is forced to land. Just so good at like, it feels like David covering so many options, but Solax kind of realizing, hey, this is the option you uncover. Yeah. Oh, wait, <laughs> let me cover this one scary thing. And great side swap with that side B. And if it's. I have a pretty good lead right now. Ivy at ledge, but Ivy's pretty scary at ledge, honestly. That up B is a tool and a half, and it can be scary, but Jared's gonna take it. David taking the stock, only taking 80 on his own, and Orch, PT. It's not, you can get kills early, but now it's you're kind of in a percent where it's not very easy to get those kills. Yeah, you're relying on like Ivysaur edge guards, like a raw hit from Charizard. Mm -hmm. and we're on Squirtle right now, so we are not going to see any of that soon. We're going to see to try some like damage rack up and see like try to go for an edge guard, but good. Oh, oh side, side D, D, you're playing you. Squirtle. At 50, <laughs> wow. boom, just amazing kill on Davis, but but so I think. I'm not <laughs> good confirmed. Did, no, did knowing like, hey, this set, this is still my, this could still be my game. Yeah. I can edge guard. Roy is volatile himself. Let's let's play this out because it's not done at all. And getting a pretty good start start of a lead. Getting about forty percent in this advantage state and pushing David back off stage. Like as we talked about, this is where Ivy is so scary. That character can just beat Roy up off stage, but. If getting back and setting to neutral and starting his own little advantage of his own, getting 40%, 30% extra credit right now on Solax. 
mind. Let's see if he can get more. Because at the end of the day, 30% is not much. For this extra credit to me, he can do 50. But yeah. now, it's now a, even maybe more. So let's the Charizard. Are we going to pick up a kill right here, right now? Trying to get the, the edge guard with the flamethrower. Maybe a little FTL action at the ledge, but not able to do it. David has stage control now. And now he's just swinging that sword at Charizard, being like, hey, this is a hitbox you have to deal with. Oh, grabs out of the up. up Fantastic <laughs> choice on David's part. Just maybe he just beat him up in frames. Yeah. Like just straight up beat him up in frames. That's how you beat it. Fantastic choice on David's part. Doing like, hey, he, he doesn't have time, but not dying. I mean, even still, looking at Charizard at 90 before hit, he could have lifted. Charizard is a big boy, but David not dropping this advantage state still. He's just keeping it going. Solak's not touching the neutral of the center stage and now so long and David knowing fair kills here. I'm sorry, I just burped Easy. in that area because I was just like, I'm so sorry. A very good jab forward there and game five between David and Solax. This is a good asset. This is good. And it's gonna be a mate. This will be a good set. Both yeah. these players kind of like both of them showing their dominant games and how they can be that stronger and scarier player, but they both done it. We don't know how this game five will go, but one thing that we get to think about is stage advantage. Not huge. A lot of kegs in this game can play on any stage, but it matters. Yeah. It's that like that two percent of an advantage. Cool. So likes to take a little. Time to rethink their decisions to understand what went wrong. David just keeping his cool, knowing that he Message. won that game. He's doing. Thank you, Gorgon, for popping in the chat. Cool Boulder to you. Everyone mm -hmm. here, go to Boulder events. Go. Boulder events are cool. Oh, we see the Wario! And the Game 5 mix up. Game 5 Wario. We haven't. Okay, he doesn't. Oh, yeah. Solax realizing, hey, I can super work. <laughs> I have multiple characters. I can really control what stage I go here. And. Solak's gonna like, hey, I got a secondary and you don't, and maybe that could be enough for him in this set. But, starting off pretty even, both characters getting a bit, but Solak's a bit of a lead, and playing this set, even though there's a long line of actions, the damage isn't showing it. Yeah. This is a lot of fighting back and forth, but not a lot of hits. Great up beyond David's point, kind of knowing like, hey, you either don't shield this or shield this, either way, it's gonna poke you, so that's okay. I think in the matchup, they definitely have. So at the end of the day, Laura has wafts. Laura has wafts and a motorcycle projectile that he can heal. So, you definitely have to. And a command yeah. My bad. <laughs> and a command <laughs> This The thing about Wario is, it feels like no matter. He has like the coffee trainers. No matter how far down he is, he has that option. And it doesn't matter. And it's like, that is so scary to know that, hey, I could think about the game wrong. But for, I could be that, I could have a whole stock, and Wario could politely say no to that. And that's definitely on David's mind, but he's not worried about it. He's still playing confident, cool, and collected. Oh my god, good <laughs> adjustment. Realizing the side B wasn't fully going to connect with that final hit, and just waiting. We're just waiting there, we're looking for an option, and we're seeing what we can punish to get the kill. Yep, and... Solak's getting him off stage, but David still just like making it back. Getting only 24 or so percent extra credit. Not a lot yet, but he hasn't died, which I think Wario can struggle with killing, especially without Waft and without getting a good edge guard. And that may become really relevant really fast. He's, he's keeping all him airborne. All of his like, buildings are so back here, and you have to mm -hmm. dash attack him. Like, sometimes yeah. it doesn't even work. Yeah, I was gonna say he's keeping him airborne. He's, he's juggling him because he realizes that if he does want to go for something, it's not, it's like a kind of a grounded move, like a down tilt dash attack. We're just trying to get a raw hit off the the back air. And great up on Solax's part. Like they didn't hit, but the after like knowledge of hey, I can go to this top tap, but David knows that too. Let me play around this. Game. I don't know if that was SDI or he just jumped from his spots. Even though he's down a lot. And this is a mountain to climb, but it's as we talked about, it's what so could be this and narrowly missing that up by that upper. David. 
but oh, that could have been, been, been more, but been only nine. Mm -hmm. That could have been straight. I'm getting in that. That's okay. He is not dead yet, and he's still and a lot of time on this clock. So that's still living. One sixty. Getting the up air, but was not in a position. Dead, yeah. That was a very extended read he tried going for right the there. The up throw. <laughs> this is close. This is so close to the day. He still has wats. He still has wats. This game is not even close to done. So I'll explain it safe, kind of just like, hey, I have like, I have a lot of recovery options. Let me see what I can do. So that's knowing. I need to get something started. I need to get a kill. He's really going for that air right there. David punishing it with the air read. He's also just, you see Solex is just landing with aerial so much. Right mm -hmm. and David is punishing it. David the He's really eager to get a kill, and David is fucking calm and cool. He feels like he doesn't care. It feels like David is just like, David has, it feels like right now David's like, this is mine. Yeah. I have this game, and while he's in a lead, and it's, he's not wrong to think that. Such a good mentality to get to it. Just believing in yourself like that is so goddamn bad. He knows exactly what's going on. Mm. And he's punishing every single one. Scary's blood for Solax is now. Well, that's kill moves. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of them that will kill. So, and that could be it, but the sour spot coming from that side B, and Solax getting another chance at this stock. And although he hasn't gotten this kill, it's still hard to not think that he has a chance in this game. You know? It's like, with that dash attack, it's. It's good. Waft can be it. I know in, in the beginning of the game, people were like, against Wario, you're playing a game of two stocks. And while that's not really true anymore, it still feels like it. That little, like, twinged thought in the yeah. back of your head can be enough. Uh, it's that fear factor. Mm -hmm. It's that whole, just... It's the incinerator kind of thing. Yeah. And especially now, it's like, okay, this up tilt, an up tilt could be it. An up air could be it. A good nair could be it. I think getting off this ledge is really important. So Lex gets it. He just one more chance on this stock against David. Even the bike out too, because he knows bike can extend the like, mm -hmm. But getting in there and not enough punishing it, and it's like, this just feels so scary. Both characters knowing that this is their last, could be their last hit this game. <gasps> Ripping the waft, but it not sending the right way. But. And go to that good recovery. Been, Holy shit. David knowing. David just knowing the second Solak set up for that, that this is what I want. That's and that's up, up throw may do it, but Wario's a heavy man. Also, Battlefield Fire Oh, yeah. yeah. And this could be it. No. Not going for a jab lock, but this is all of a sudden so close. Both these players last hit. And. Solax just playing so careful, knowing that now genuinely any hit that David can hit could be the stock. And back That's there, they take it. That's gonna take it. Solax. 41 fucking seconds on that. Honestly, all I can say was a beautiful comeback. Yeah, that was really good. Just almost just like abusing where Roy falls as a character, knowing like, knowing like, God damn it, if you are that one ninety, you can't kill me. Dude, that was yeah. set taking of the set. year. Holy shit. shit. <laughs> Were you matching on that last one?